Sometimes if you go out thrifting in the mornings and it's no good, it just makes sense to like leave, go to lunch, regroup, reset, head back in and maybe your luck will change. And that's exactly what happened to me this trip to the thrift. What's going on everybody? It's Brendan, the channel's Dad Planet. I am the one man show. I'm taking you along for the ride. We're gonna go thrifting like we always do on this channel. And yeah, it was like a tale of two day parts, if you will. Not only that, you remember that lamp I sourced not too long ago, that really unique lava lamp? Well, I sold that thing for $200, but a lot of you asked to see how I was gonna ship it. Well, we're gonna ship it together. It gets a little crazy, but I'm gonna show you how we did that. We got a bunch of stuff in between. Let's talk numbers, let's go thrift, let's get moving. Two trips here, usually it's the morning that's excellent and it's the afternoon that isn't so much. It was the other way around this time. So a decent morning, but a fantastic afternoon. Let's take a look at some of the things that I grabbed here. This putting alignment mirror, I don't know anything about it. The comparables don't look that great, but it's golf season. I saw one pre-owned sell for $20. I'll probably just mark that at 25, be the most aggressively priced for the brand new item. It's only gonna cost me $4. Your golf stuff should start flying off the shelves at this point. So I'm gonna pick that up since it's brand new in the package. Again, not the hugest return, but it's the next golf item that you can see hanging right there. It's a putting sword. I'm gonna grab that towards the end of looking at the rest of the stuff on this cart. That's actually a $50 item that's also gonna cost me $4. So once I'm done going through everything that is on this cart, this is actually a stale cart. It's not one that came out. So these items were just kind of sitting there, but two golf items, two brand new in the package. One for 25, the putting sword for $50. I will take it, that's great. Again, golf, not really my strong suit, but the numbers said 50 easily on the second item. Might be a stretch with the alignment mirror, but $25, I will be probably the lowest price for one brand new. So, we'll move on to another cart that did just come out, and yes, we're moving away from winter season, fall season, but these UGG, they're like sheepskin earmuffs, and I think they are Bluetooth enabled. The sold comparables, the like um, sales velocity, something told me to pick these up. They weren't marked price wise, and so I think I paid the accessory price. You can see the access point for Bluetooth or a plug in general. The data said grab these. So for $3, and again, I, I'm not gonna make a, a million dollars on them. I will probably list these for 25 as well, but they looked like they sold pretty regularly throughout the fall and the winter. There was a lot of data on them. So I'm gonna grab them. I don't pick up lots of UGG items, but that one, for whatever reason, is the numbers said, go ahead and grab these even if you have to hold on to them for a little while longer. So that's what I did. I'll take those, mark them at 25 and then we'll move on. I don't think there's any other pairs of shoes here that really strike my interest. A nice pair of New Balance on the bottom, but I didn't grab these. I am selling shoes faster than I'm replenishing them, and I think that just happens to me in the spring and the summer. I will eventually get caught up, so that's probably a good problem to have. I'm gonna move on here. This is a, this bag. This is such a nice bag, right? It's kind of hard to support Massimo, the, the owner of this brand, went to prison for college bribery. I think they tried to like, they hit, Lori Laughlin is his wife. Both of them went to prison for uh, um, paying, the, I think it was the University of Southern California, a bunch of money. And it turned out to be a bribe. It wasn't exactly a donation. I forget exactly how the story goes, but, but anyway, that bag was cute. Um, just info and food for thought there quilted patchwork i just left it behind but i'm gonna grab these pair of uh, innovate they're fast lift 70s these are in great condition here they're a women's size six and a half i think they were a men's five i'm gonna price these at 45 the crossfit games is going on right now i think these the next semifinals starts april 28th it, the the time I recorded this video was April 20th and it runs through June 4th. So now is the time to source items like these. You can see right there, men's five, women's uh, six and a half size, but they're in great condition and tis the season, if you will, for CrossFit items. And I think that that is related. So we're gonna pick those up for sure. Six and a half sounds like a great size for those shoes and again they the condition the quality was just fantastic the rest of these i think are sketchers so i'm not really i don't do a ton if any sketchers pick up so i'm gonna leave all that behind here move over to some of the 
hard goods on an end cap here. I don't sleep on items like these. I know they're boring, but this is just a napkin dispenser, right? Torque is the brand. I think it's called the Express Nap. These sell brand new, I guess, depending on the size, anywhere from like 30 to $40 down to 20. If you're pricing them, you know, appropriately and it's it looks like it's a brand new item so it wasn't marked they charged me a dollar 99 for it which is great because the like accessory price is three so i got maybe a little bit of a deal just paying two dollars and i'll list it at twenty dollars i'm not going to be um terribly overpriced with something like that that's probably a commercial buyer i love those kinds of buyers because they have the money that they just expense to spend it's not probably like just a regular retail buyer looking for a pair of shoes or something like that commercial so it's too bad that i couldn't find like maybe a lot of five or six of them i'll take the one for two bucks again put it up for 20 we'll move it and we'll move on i buy items like that all the time in this area or areas like these where it's just sort of a a weird mix of items so that was the morning i left came back into the afternoon thought i might have hit it big with some of these um they look like racquetball rackets this was a i forget what this was prince the comparables on it, I'm not going to put them on the screen because I can't remember exactly what the name of this was, but they were in the $50 to $60 range. Unfortunately, underneath that tape on top, there was a considerable amount of damage, and so I had to leave this behind. I was super disappointed because that thing would have been, I am going to say, between maybe $60, $65 is what I was hoping to list it at when I was doing the research at the time. Damage, can't do it. Got to move on to another section. A pair of shoes that I didn't recognize there those Nikes, but I get super lucky right here. Uh, this is a pair, and I've sourced these before. If you weren't aware that Thursday Boot Company is a bolo, please put it on your radar. Those are women's Chelsea boots. The style on these is legend, but if you look at the soles, they are brand new. These are in brand new condition. So I get to list them brand new without the tags. You can see it says Thursday, everyday women's size eight and a half and spectacular they even still have that like ultra brand new smell to them not a single speck on the soles only gonna cost me five and a half dollars i am going to list these for 120 i think they retail for 160 if you went to thursday boot company's website and you wanted to buy them there so a much better deal buying them on the secondary market at $120. That is what I'm going to list them at. What a lucky score. Thank goodness too, because it just got, I guess, even better from this point on. So let's make sure I don't miss anything. There was actually a pair of shoes coming up here. It's not these ones that I grabbed. This is seven brand. I've, I don't know that I've ever seen seven shoes. I see a lot of their clothing, but these Fila's, the chunky sole thing, that's a big time trend right now. I know I've said that before, but if you're new, pay attention to it. But because I don't source a lot of Fila, I left these behind. I didn't even look them up. That could have been a mistake. And if you're local and they were worth money, I hope you grab them. So a new cart rolled out. I was the first to get to it. And this landed right into my lap, a Nest thermostat. Only gonna cost me $13. It is brand new factory sealed and it looks like there are plenty of these selling in the $100 range that are factory sealed. If you're talking buy it now and not people that are running auctions. So I'm definitely gonna grab that, list it for $100. And you know, sometimes those Catan board games can be worth money. That junior edition didn't look like it when I ran the comps and it was pre-owned and I, the last thing I wanna do is deal with counting pieces at this point. So I left that behind. I also left, and I don't source FitFlop as a brand anymore. If you guys are having success selling that brand, please let me know. I never pick it up. Those shoes looked good, but it's because of the lack of success I've had selling them, I've stopped sourcing them altogether. So if they've come back around and they're doing well again, please let me know. But I left those behind, left the Uggs behind. And then the find of the day, they came out on one of those carts sitting right there are these Libby Cobalt Blue Celestial Sun and Moon and Stars, 16 ounce glasses. What a score. If you guys weren't aware, this is a smoking hot bona fide bolo right now. The mugs especially, I've got 12 here total. They're only gonna cost me $2 each. Most recent comp for a set of six sold for 120. I have mine listed for $115 for uh, two, a quantity of two since I have 12. Amazing score. So excellent trip to the thrift. Now we got to bust out of here. I want to talk about 
that lamp that I recently sold that you saw me source on camera. I'm gonna show you folks how I shipped it. Not only do I have to ship it, I have to ship it international, so we gotta be super careful. Let's take a look at how it was done. Size box I'm using is 18 by 18 by 16 and it's a heavy duty box. I'm sorry if you guys hear like the work that's being done in the background, nothing I can do about it. Somebody's having a new roof put on. But anyway, 18 by 18 by 16, I think I'm probably gonna cut it down a little bit. This little flaps here, I'll fold them down and um, we will go from there. Here's what it looks like with the first, I guess, couple of passes with bubble wrap. You can see it's a ton. I wanna make absolutely certain that this thing arrives in one piece because it's going international, so. We've got a little bit of travel here and I wanna make sure, of course, that uh, if something happens to it, it is not gonna be on my end. So I have this wrapped all the way to the edge of the saucer here, that's part one. I will stop this and I'll show you part two as I bubble wrap it this way next. Here's what it looks like next, wrapped from the top to the bottom. I want this to basically lay like 100% flat. It's not 100% flat, it's very close, but we're gonna put it inside this box here. We're gonna have a little bit of leeway because the box is a little bit larger. And the thing that I wanna prevent the most is any shifting in travel. So let me get this in the box and then I might either add bubble wrap on the sides or maybe some empty boxes as a little bit of a buffer in the event uh, the box gets crushed a little bit. That will act as my buffer to prevent uh, any damage in, in case of course they, you know, they handle it rough. So let's see what this looks like next. So what it looks like inside the box, I just used bubble wrap on both sides. Um, no need to put a buffer here because it's hitting the edges pretty tightly. So I think we have a pretty nice fit here. I've also cut down just below, you can see where this little um, indent is. I've cut the box down here. I'm gonna fold the sides down and I feel like we've got enough of a pillow buffer between the amount of bubble wrap that I used and all four sides of this heavy duty extra strength box that we are going to prevent uh, really any damage. So we're looking good. Let me fold this down and we'll take a look at it uh, as we finish. Comes out to exactly eight pounds and the box folded. I mean, if you look at it, it's almost perfect, right? It looks great. That's why I love these heavy duty extra strength boxes. I got this from Lowe's and I don't remember if it was two or three dollars. Yes, I used a ton of bubble wrap, but because it's going international, I wanna make sure and extra sure that we get there. In fact, I sold it for 200, but I was sending out offers for 170. So, you know, if you look at it like that, I had maybe a $30 buffer to work with here, but the way this thing is packed, not moving on the inside, and almost still looks like a perfect square. We are in great shape to move this uh, move this product. Box number one, I'm gonna add these very clean Converse white. They are a uh, men's five and a half, women's seven and a half, but based on the code on the inside, these are excellent sellers and they sell pretty consistently. So very, very clean. I would say $25 on, it, it just depends on how you price it. I think 25 is absolutely fair for these as uh, good a condition as they are in. That's gonna go in box number one. And then in box number two, I'm gonna put two items. First is this uh, Lego NBA set. There are three minifigures in here, Allen Iverson, Steve Francis, Carl Malone. The box is in not collectible shape, but there are plenty of buyers that are gonna open this and display the minifigures. And so they regularly sell for around $25 to $30. That's what I would price this at. If I were you, $25 on that. Sealed Lego, you can't beat that. That's gonna go in box number two. And then this absolutely gorgeous Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply um, vest. It is in beautiful condition. These sell regularly for $40 to $50. They are, um, Denim and Supply, for whatever reason, is still super popular right now. And so I've had great success sourcing it and selling it. I'm gonna pass that along to you guys. $50 on that one. That one also goes in box number two. Brings the value to each of them around $400 to $450. And we still have plenty of room to go. Hit that subscribe button now. I don't know if you can hear this, but my youngest daughter is crying in the background because nobody has taken her out to play. So we're gonna go have to do the dad part of Dad Planet right now. <laughs> and I gotta get moving. I spent $61 for everything you saw me source in today's video. And my total listed value for everything comes to $615. Now I have to go take care of my youngest. Brendan here at Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you want a chance to win those boxes and I will see you in the next video.